The documentary Blackfish continues to be a success. It was announced today that SeaWorld Parks and Entertainment announced an incredible loss in attendance and revenues for their fourth quarter 2016. Their revenues are down by tens of millions of dollars and their attendance is down by tens of thousands of people in just the last quarter alone. Make no mistake, the public is fully aware of what Blackfish exposed and they are completely disgusted by SeaWorld's behavior in an attempt to discredit Blackfish by stating that it has been debunked, that it was misinformation, and completely inaccurate. Oh really? What part of Blackfish was inaccurate or has been debunked? What? The fact that they showed a short video clip of orcas being captured in the wild, and they just happened to not be of Tilikum specifically, so it's been debunked? Uh, so the rest of us saw that orcas have been proven 100% conclusively to be sentient beings. They are completely self-aware, just like humans, and that they know that they are being enslaved, that they know that they're imprisoned. And you have them in a bathtub, in a chlorinated swimming pool for their entire lives to swim around in circles in a concrete bathtub, despite the fact that in the wild they travel 100 miles a day. And that's right, it is chlorinated. Although, of course, SeaWorld will tell you that they use a fraction of the amount of chlorine that you'll find in a public swimming pool, so of course it's safe. The masses are awakened, and they are trying to send SeaWorld a message by saying that they don't like your product anymore. They don't like the fact that you're forcing these sentient beings to do circus tricks for food. We don't like the fact that they have been robbed of their families, that they are being caused incredible suffering, both physical and psychological, because of the treatment that they're receiving at SeaWorld. Now, hold on. I know that there's many people that work for SeaWorld, trainers, animal lovers. I know that there's so many people there that love these animals and treat them to the best of their ability. But the bottom line is that they are imprisoned and they should be released to the wild or at least a, a habitat, you know, in some sort of bay or cove. And many people have suggested this, but they refuse to do it. People can't stand the thought that the habitat that they're living in now is a fraction of the size of the parking lots at SeaWorld. People can't stand the fact that SeaWorld destroyed and discredited the loving memory of Don Branchow, a completely beautiful human being, and blamed her for her own death, which is clearly inaccurate. People can't stand the thought that Kelly Clark, who lied on the stand in a courtroom in order to mitigate a lawsuit that was happening because of SeaWorld's negligence in her death, that they promoted her to director of training for SeaWorld. Yes, Kelly Clark, someone who's demonstrated that they are a cover-up artist and a liar, and instead they promote her. It's disgusting. People have awakened to the fact that they don't like Joel Mamby, the CEO of SeaWorld, who has gone on an aggressive marketing campaign to try and discredit Blackfish and promote the image of SeaWorld, which is his job. Are you aware that Joel Mamby, his base salary is $1 million a year, but the year before last, because he works for a publicly traded company, that he made $11.3 million because, you know, bonuses and stock options? Meanwhile, orcas and dolphins are suffering incredibly in their captivity. The word is out. There is a global awakening happening where people around the world are figuring out that the way things have been for the last several decades in this world aren't necessarily the best way to go about life. That we want to embrace love and that we are stewards of this planet as human beings, that we have special capabilities, but yet we treat orcas as if, as if they're less. Well, guess what, guys? The public has shown you and sent you a message that they don't like your product anymore. And I suggest that you catch up with the times and do the right thing. Joel Mamby. If you really are a good guy, like you claim to be, like you've marketed yourself, which I'm starting to think was just a gimmick, that you've quite literally took advantage and were able to sell the, the executives, the board of directors at SeaWorld in order to make a freaking fortune. Good for you, right? How about you do this? Dump your SeaWorld stocks, ensure the release uh, into a habitat for the orcas and dolphins, and freaking quit and go drive, you know, ride on jet skis or move to an all-inclusive resort for the rest of your life. Live your life. Because make no mistake, you have the power to do the right thing. How many more millions of dollars do you need to make before you start embracing the actual love that you preach about, about and have written multiple books about? Come on. Make no mistake, this trend is never going to stop. It's only going to accelerate. And SeaWorld's days are numbered. I highly suggest that you figure out another main attraction to substitute the orcas and dolphins at your facilities. I don't know, install a roller coaster, do something else, figure it out. Because this, your industry is dying. People don't like it, and it's only going to continue down this path. So anyways, guys, I'll leave it at that. I highly recommend that you don't attend any of SeaWorld Parks and Entertainment's facilities, because don't forget, it's not just SeaWorld. It's Busch Gardens and many other facilities. Look them up. You can Google it. Look at the Wikipedia page. They own dozens of facilities around the country. Anyways, guys, I'll leave it at that. I'm Jimmy. This is Bright Insight. Like and subscribe. I have many other videos for you to enjoy on a whole wide variety of topics. Take care, everybody.